Oh, press that button, Speckles. No, press the other one right there. Press that button, Speckles. Press it. Cashmere, I, I'm trying to press all the buttons at once, okay? I know, I know how to play a game. Cashmere, I, I know how to play. I know how to... Cashmere, I know how to play this game. No, you're not pressing the right button. You're just making the rabbit run in circles. Press the, press the correct button. Speckles! It's speckles, why are you pressing the wrong buttons? I'm not pressing the wrong buttons, Cashmere. I'm trying to make the little bunny move, okay? Hi, right, well, you can't do it. Let me try. Hi. Oh, hi, Penny. Oh, hi, Penny. What are you doing here? Well, Cassidy went on a little trip, and so she's not here to watch me, so she said to come over here. Oh, well, we're playing a game. Really? Can I try it? Sure. Just press the arrow keys to move the bunny. Okay. Hmm. Look at that! Speckles! Cassidy, Penny's really good at this game. Look. She can move the bunny with no trouble at all. Well, it is. It lo I play lots of games in my life, so it's really cool. How do you make that game? Oh, there's another stage? Wow, I have got to learn how to do this. Well... Lucky for you, I'm a coding master. Let me just put this game on pause. I can teach you how to make a game. Really? Can we make one like that one? Um, how about we try and use a, the, the game maker guide? No, I want to learn it like you. <laughs> well, okay. I guess we should, we should just use the Game Maker Guide. Yeah, Cashmere is right. This is finally something I agree with her. You should use the Game Maker Guide. It's easier. Okay, fine. I'll use the Game Maker Guide. Ooh, so what's it all about? Well, we use it to help us learn how to make new games. So, ooh, level up your game making skills. Ooh, wait until Cassidy sees me do this. Hmm. What's this one about? Oh, that's ship design. Um, uh, hmm. I think I'll try it. Okay. Yeah, you, you all did this already? Yeah, but you can do it again. Just press restart. Okay. Wait, we don't want to delete our old code. Um. Um. Hmm. We don't want to delete our code, because that took a long time to make. Mm. Okay, we're going to do it. How easy is it? Oh, well, it's pretty easy, because they give you lessons. Let's explore the depths of space. In this tutorial, you'll design a spaceship. I don't want that kind of spaceship. How do I make a different one? Oh, it's easy. Just do the little start screen, star field effect. Just put that right there. Okay, I put it inside. What next? Now we go to the sprite thing. Oh, see, you started a confetti effect. But still, now we go to the sprites. Set my sprite to kind of player. Move my sprite with buttons. But first, we have to design a sprite. So what do you want to put there, Cassidy? I mean, Penny? Hmm, how about a panda like me? Oh, wise choice. Okay, so here's what you do. You grab the white stuff, put a circle, Wow. Now we grab the black. And the ears. So like that. Okay, so now we've made panda ears. So now we're going to grab the circle tool again. There. And now, since your other eye is pink, We'll grab the pink one and do the circle tool again. And we'll do that. And that. And your nose is black, so we'll put a black right there. Yeah, I guess that, wait, what, what was that? It's just my music player. Okay, then. but anyhow, um, that looks pretty good. Yeah, I like that. You like that? Mm hmm Let's put some eyes there. Okay, I'll do white eyes for you. There! And now we have a little cute... Wait, let's do the fill button. Okay, now we have a little cute panda as our sprite. See? And we can move her around with the buttons. But, hmm, we can't really see her ears, so let's change the background. We'll have to do that later. Okay, but anyhow, 
now that we have that, we can do the next step. Okay, we've already did, done that. But let's try something else. Try to move away from the screen, Penny. Okay. Uh-oh, if you move off the screen, oh, there he is. Oh no, but if you move off the screen, your spaceship just disappears. Let's write some code to make that not happen. Let's pause the game. How do we do it? Well, go to the um, set my sprite stand screen right here on and put in the block. And boom. Now your panda can't move out of the screen. Perfect. A perfection. Excuse me, I said perfect. But still, okay. Great job. Penny, you finished step one already. Wow, that was quick. So now that we've tried our project, let's do something else. Now you're all set to travel to the universe. Great job, Penny. You finished the first tutorial. Yeah. What's next? That was awesome. What's next? Well, let's find out and see. Ooh, we're going to be making project tiles. Let's do it. So we're going to restart. Dang it, why is it taking so long? To there we go. All right, let's get started. All right, so here's what we've done so far. Okay, now let's learn how to make your panda fight. Ooh, how do we do that? Well, let's grab the mouse, Penny, grab the mouse, and go to the next step. And now we need to do the on A button press. Just grab one of those and put it over there. And set projectile from my sprite with VX 50, VY 50. That there. Wait, no, I took it out. Okay. Now we need to draw a projectile. So, Penny, what do you think we should have for a projectile? Hmm. How about a missile? A pink missile. Oh, and that sounds cool. Okay, so we'll draw out the missile. Go ahead and draw out the missile, Penny. Okay, I'm drawing it right now. That looks like a good top for a missile. And we'll take some at the bottom. And put it around. And now I have a missile. Oh, let me put some orange fire at the bottom. There. Now my projectile can launch a missile, right? Correct. Hmm. Let's see what happens when we press the A button. Come over here and press the Z button. Boom. Boom. Wait, they're going the wrong way. The projectiles are going the wrong way. How do we fix that? Let's pause the game and see. Hmm. Let's do the next step. So, try typing this in. 0, 70. Try typing the 0. Okay. And negative 70. I said 70, but negative 70. Like that. That should make them fly upward, right? Let's find out. You're correct, Speckles. Now your panda can shoot missiles upward. Yay! Now you've made some missiles. Great job. Now it's time for some special effects as well. So now let's find the My Sprite Start Spray Effect. Okay. My Sprite Start Spray Effect. Change the variable My Sprite to Projectile. And try some different opinions, which, whichever one you like the best. So come on over here. I'll go over there and try and see which one you want. So let's see the choices. Spray, trail, fountain, confetti, heart, smiles, rings, fire, warm, and cool racial, halo, ashes, disintegrate, blizzard, bubbles, starfield, <gasps> and clouds. Which one? Hmm, I think I'll try bubbles. Those are my favorite things. Bamboo blows bubbles to me every day. So let's see. Now bubbles will follow the missiles up in the air. Nice one. I like it. Wow, Penny, you're doing great. And that's the first part of this video, guys. Meet us in part two so we can to show us what's going to happen with Penny learning how to code. See you then.